I don't know, maybe it's because of this thing that you kind of miss, miss it. <laughs> say if you're texting or tweeting, maybe you miss some things. Jamar Chase had the long touchdown. He had a celebration that apparently he felt compelled to address afterward. Can we show the celebration before we hear from him? Because I don't, I still don't think I've seen whatever it is that he did that he felt like he had to address after the fact. This is the play. 12 minutes left in the third quarter. Great catch, great throw, great run. Don't even bother. You're not going to catch him. Oh, he slowed down and turned and got pushed in the end zone. Is that what he's, that's it? That's it? That's what he's apologizing for or addressing? All right. Well, that's what it was. And it, it caused him to address after the game this little stop and turn and backpedal into the end zone that got him shoved. Here he is after the game talking about why he did what he did. But I was just going to be, you know what I'm saying, be a jerk. Let's just say that. I was just going to be a jerk today. Take towels. Just do stuff. Why? I just felt like being an evil person today. <laughs> so. Well, you were nasty. Any, for, any reason why for being evil or just? Uh, nah. I just, in pregame, I just told T, like, T, I just feel like being evil today. You feel like when you walk out uh, at the locker room here, you're going to feel like a villain walking out? I don't know. I feel like one right now. What? I love the self-awareness, and I love the willingness to embrace his inner demons. You know, some days you just feel like being a jerk. I can relate to that on uh, most no, days. Man. I'm going to be no a jerk. Stuff, Sherlock. <laughs> I'm going to be a jerk, and I'm going to enjoy it. I mean, if you're going to be a uh, always enjoy what you do. If you feel like being a jerk, why suppress it if it doesn't hurt anybody? Why suppress it, right? Go ahead and be a jerk. And it reminded me, now, it wasn't all that egregious. I did see that when it happened. I just didn't think there was anything all that bad about it. There was a game, 2001, a Monday night game, where Randy Moss kind of did that turn and high step backward into the end zone, a little taunt. I think he got fined and possibly flagged for that, but... Uh, yeah, I got no problem with that. That's just that's just a guy enjoying his life and embracing that periodic temptation to you know the 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 the, the devil on one shoulder, the angel on the other. Sometimes it's fun if the devil wins. I mean, if you're gonna be, be a jerk in context, uh, oh boy, okay. that can be taken uh, out of context. Uh huh. I I was just gonna move on from that, and uh, you know I I I'm going to now. If you're gonna be a jerk, and you know you're gonna catch 11 passes for 149 yards and a touchdown, like I think that everybody would say, "Hey, Jamar, yeah, he should be a jerk all the time." Not that that's not you know his level of production. Jamar Chase is one of the most outstanding receivers in football, so that's fine. But it is, it's great. You know, you you catch 11 of 12 targets. The only pass that he did not catch was one right at his chest, you know, and then he drops that one Turned up on field. the next play. It's Turned fourth up field down. too early. Yes, he did. And on the next play on fourth down, Browning doesn't throw the most catchable ball possible. But what does Javar Chase do? The outstanding thing where he gets his hands down and, you know, he makes the catch and then he turns up field and then he gets that first down on fourth down. So I don't know. It was not like, you know, Jamar Chase did speaking of Randy Moss, you know, a disgusting act where, He's going up to the goalpost and, you know, effectively mooning the crowd. It's not like he did that. He didn't even throw up the deuces like Tyreek Hill. I, I, that one, I don't know. I just thought he was celebrating that. That really didn't, you know, register to me at all as anything. And, you know, the fact that you have a Jamar Chase makes it a lot easier to have your backup quarterback in the game. And hell yeah, it does. To the extent that the Vikings are, the Vikings are getting Justin Jefferson back this weekend. Speaking of Randy mm-hmm. Moss, ties to the Purple People Eaters, they're getting mm-hmm. Justin Jefferson back this weekend. That may make whoever plays quarterback look a lot better because just kind of throw it in the vicinity of one of the great receivers in football like Jake Browning did last night repeatedly with Jamar Chase. And he had that one catch where he was falling to the ground. We saw it earlier in one of the highlight packages. And they were saying, oh, he shows off his great hands. Well, he dropped the initial attempt, the great hands came into play as he bobbled it and caught it because he made it look harder than it needed to be because he initially dropped it. He just recovered and caught it before it hit the ground. But that would have been a drop. It was in his hands, but still, that's how good he is. He can drop it and still make the catch. And uh, yeah, Jamar Chase playing like that, you can get away with not having Joe Burrow and maybe the Bengals can find a way into the postseason. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.